Goes without saying, George is not the biggest fan of the gimbal. So as you can see, it's pretty dark at the moment. Winter still hasn't really relinquished its grip on this country. Um, so today, oh, I had so much planned today to film, guys, but in the true vein of vlogging, it's gone out the window. Um, I got an absolutely oh, wicked present from my dad for my wife, for Emily Bum Bums, and I wanted to put it up today, but the weather is awful. It's such a cool thing and probably something that a lot of you guys see and don't really take much notice of uh, You probably think well, what's this all about? How's this happen? What it is is a weather vane and you never really see them do you and in England if you're not from England guys a weather vane is actually a really good way for us to figure out whether the because we obviously go on about the weather all the time I mean, that's all that's a given um, it's a way for us to figure out what is coming So put it this way if we've got a wind that is a westerly wind that means it's coming from the west we're much more likely to have warmer and wetter air which means we're much more likely to have rain obviously if it's coming from the north it's cold often drier air if coming from the south which is the air that we all want um, it means we've got lovely warm air and it's just gonna be amazing um, so that's the thing I want to put up this weather van it's absolutely beautiful as you probably realize me and Em's both love cats we've got Big G don't get me wrong I'm a dog person as well I absolutely love I've got Jack Jack the Porter Collie is a legend so my dad made my wife this beautiful cat weather vane so it's got a big cat on it so I want to be able to put that up later on today I do love this thing this gimbal's so good so let's pop you just here you can sit back there like that so if I sit you there you can actually see that camera can't you so I can look at this camera now and present to it and say that today I'm really really sorry to say this but unfortunately I've got to go to the dentist and that is the first big hurdle that I've got to get over today let's go oh yeah by the way this is a brief midweek vlog See you soon. <laughs> Hello. I'm filming today. It's okay. I've survived skiing. Shake my hand. Oh, well done. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm a bit late today. Um, just one of those things. Doing a bit of an experimental video for my YouTube channel, so that's what we're doing today. I thought it'd be fun to film dentistry for a few minutes. Just going. I just need to make sure that's all okay. Yeah, that's fine. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sorry, this is what you call vlogging. Well, it's, it's your confidentiality, so it's... Okay, cool. Yeah, because I'm not allowed it's to say seat, anything about you, but you are. This is the seat of my death here. That's not fair. Okay. That's you not fair. You can't afford that, can we? <laughs> where should I put it? Can I put it... You put it where you want. If you want to be in the shop, do you want to put it on yeah, there? Yeah, that'd be nice. Thank you. I'm so sorry about being late. <laughs> Hello everyone, dentistry. Nothing to be scared of. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. late. Yeah, I'm sorry I was late. <laughs> Isn't like the dentist like one of the bright, most frightening things people apparently? Apparently, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I've got a bit of a wheeze. Yeah. So, I mean, we've got written um, in theory a scale of polish as well, but we'll see what your cleaning is like as to whether we need that bit as well. Right, let's copy that. Can we give you some analysis for one? Oh, cheers. Thanks very much. Right. If you need a breather, wave your hand. Alright, it's just going to feel a lot cold and a lot cold in this one. Fun this is. You know what? I bet a lot of dentistry training isn't about. Well, I bet a, how much of a percentage of you think is actually pacifying people when they come in? When they come in, they're absolutely really terrified. When I, when I train, we've got no training like that whatsoever. Nothing at all. Yeah. I think nowadays they do. Oh, right. Oh, we can get some lovely shots of your tools. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so exciting! <laughs> you should, you should be proud of them. Well, yeah, but there's nothing very rocket science on there, really. Oh, okay. The nearest to rocket science is that. Is that, the, is that the ice machine? <laughs> oh, that hurts. <laughs> that's the ultrasonic. That's the really cold one. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have fun. Bye. Healthy teeth done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, what am I doing with you today? There we go, so clean teeth. Another year of, um, of cleanness. 
So now I've got to go home, get changed in my work gear, and uh, and go and do a few jobs. So you aren't going to come with me for that because that's a different channel. Then I've got a work call. Then after that, I'm going to try and get home early so I can get this weather vane up. Also, I might get a bit of drone footage. We'll see. Rav, 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 rav. Ravi, ravi, ravi. Ravi! Why? <laughs> What's wrong? Anyway, um, I need to get some Krona, I think. I'm going to Copenhagen. Please say you got Krona. I you haven't got Krona? The thing is, <laughs> right then, so back from the dentist. Look, look at those gnashes. I'm gonna zoom in on them. Look, are they, are they sexy? <laughs> Oh, right, so look, the sun's come out and it's a beautiful day. So it's given us the opportunity to come out here. Look, look how cool that is. Now, I was going to get Daddy-O to pop around and give us a hand putting this up, but he sort of knackered his leg because, because he does daft things like walk down riverbanks. Don't you, Dad? I know you're watching. So anyway, we're going to, well, I'm going to put that up. We're going to film it. We're going to make it look nice. What kind of times with James video would it be? if we didn't have a beautiful bit of drone footage. I'm hoping that's got clear. Okay, I found this on the web. All right, Siri. I've had enough of you and your bloody Siri-ness. He's so Siri sometimes. <laughs> As they said in the RAF during the Battle of Britain, contact. <laughs> See you soon, sweet out. Right, we got it back. Let's see if she's working. Of course she is. Touchdown, oh yeah. So obviously I'm going away to do some filming um, over the next few days. So there's a chance for me to get everything kind of wrapped up, uh, get everything ready to take away. So the list of bits that I'm going to be taking on this particular trip, uh, I'm going to be taking the drone, I'm going to take the Sony, uh, I'm also going to take you guys in the Canon with the gimbal as well. Um, so kind of what I have when I'm out and about filming, I've got my small one sling bag, but this fits really well into my bigger East Pack um, backpack, because at the moment flights are obviously still allowing you to take on like hand luggage. So that means that Droney Boo can live quite comfortably in this bag. This is sort of the bag you don't ever want to lose. You have to be quite canny as well. Tell you what, what are we doing? Why are we not lighting this scene properly? I absolutely love this lighting system. It's brilliant. I'm going to definitely do a review on the LS Edge light system. But anyway, I'd say this for one, if you're going anywhere, always take two batteries with you and one charger to go with it. And then one lead that should go across all your other charging ports for all your other types of camera. But that depends really. Uh, what I try to do is get most things in one compartment for one particular t uh, camera so we've got all that goes in there so that's my charger so if we look now but I can tell you for that for that I take two batteries one inside the camera and one outside the camera I also take another what's called a pp3 battery for the uh, microphone that we're speaking to just there um, yeah and then all that goes into the one rucksack um, along with like my my laptop for work my iPad for watching stuff my Kindle um, and all that sort of stuff this is really weird this has turned into a, a vlog about I don't know putting stuff up it's really right weird like the travel gear that I always take with me uh, and that's gonna change isn't it for everything that everywhere I go I'm gonna take something else with me aren't I so guys really sorry about this but I have literally got a leg it I was gonna film like a stop motion of us cleaning this beast up but I don't really think I've even got time to clear the shed up before I leave. Let's just say this, right? We got over the dentist together today. That was wicked. Lovely clean woofs. Oh, gorgeous. Um, we got over putting up the lovely little um, weather vane as well. We got through the gym as well today. We 
did a few jobs that you guys didn't see and then also we got back and we just had a bit of a laugh didn't we it was nice played about with some lights and bits and bobs like that and also packed our bag ready for the quick trip to copenhagen so come along and see us there please subscribe by clicking on the link that's going to appear in a minute and i'll see you in the next vlog that's going to be all about that trip to copenhagen see you soon guys and remember i love you all bye